I'd like to offer you an apology, because last week I said the BBC had scraped the bottom of the barrel when they decided to bring back gladiators. And I was wrong. Hands up, and I'm man enough to admit in public I was wrong. They hadn't scraped the bottom of the barrel by bringing back gladiators. They've just scraped the bottom of the barrel now. Hi, me again. And yeah, I, uh, what is going on? <laughs> who decides who makes the programmes at the BBC? What gets commissioned and what doesn't? Because did anyone ask for this? I mean, no one asked for gladiators, but definitely no one asked for this. Look, BBC brings the Osbournes back. The BBC has ordered a new show from Expectation featuring the Osborne family as they relocate from the US to their family home in the UK. Did you ask for that? Is that something you're interested in? Is that something you want your TV license fees being spent on? Being spent on making a show about the Osborne family? Is that what we all asked for? Why do we want this? Does anybody even care about the Osborne family anymore? I don't care. I never cared about them back in the day. I didn't care about it when she was working on The X Factor. And I definitely do not care about any of the Osbournes now. Why is the BBC spending money on this? This is worse than when the BBC spent money on Katie Price stuff. This is worse. Expectation will produce the 10-part series of 30-minute episodes for BBC One and Nine Player. Home to Roost will document Ozzy and Sharon's journey back to Britain alongside Kelly and Jack's effort to support them as they attempt to restart their lives in rural Buckinghamshire. The series will follow the Osbournes as they celebrate one of their most important years yet, with everything from Sharon's 70th birthday to Kelly's soon-to-be-born baby, Ozzy's tour, and of course the big move itself. Wow, well, I can hardly wait. I tell you what, I don't have a television license at the moment. I don't pay the fee because I don't watch BBC stuff. I've got no interest in it. I watch everything on catch up on demand, as you well know. But I tell you what, I'm going to go buy me a license fee so I can watch this Osborne show because I, it sounds fantastic. Claire Sillery, head of commissioning documentaries. So she's the one responsible for this. Claire Sillery is the head of commissioning documentaries for the BBC. She's the one that was pitched this by Expectation, who obviously got the deal to do it. They approached the Osbournes and said they're gonna, they'd like to make a show with them, and they've come up with this idea. And they've gone around all the TV channels. Maybe the BBC was the first stop. I would imagine it wasn't. They probably went to MTV, Channel 5, Channel 4, Channel 3, all of them. And the BBC went, no, we're going to have this. Claire Sillery, head of commissioning documentaries at the BBC. Even though this isn't a documentary, it's a reality show. That makes no sense. When we're going to have this. We're going to spend TV license fee payers' money on this. I'm confident this is going to be a hit show that is going to please BBC viewers. A confident girl. So she said, I'm delighted that the Osbournes will be sharing this next chapter of their lives with BBC viewers in what promises to be a funny, moving and honest insight into their new life in the UK. Why do BBC viewers want a funny, moving and honest insight into the Osborne's family life in the UK. Why do we want that? And why do we want to spend our money, our hunt, not mine obviously, and hopefully not yours, our 159 quid a year license fees on paying for this show? Why? I know you can say that about any show, can't you? Why does that show exist? Why does that show exist? I get that. And you know, it's people, it's subjective, isn't it? People like what they like. But really, the Osborne's, really? Well, I can't wait to hear from all of you when this goes on to tell you about how much you enjoyed this show and that it was completely worth your license fee payments. If that's the way you feel, please do let me know and I will put my hand up again like I did at the beginning and say I was wrong. The British people loved the new Osborne show and they thought it was totally worth the license fee alone. I can't wait to hear that. I just think it's very, very unlikely I'm going to hear that. Right. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because that way, hopefully, I'll see you in another video again soon, my love. Ta-da.